Hi and welcome to the Thrunite channel. So today we're outdoors to do a little camp test and survival hack. Today we're using tuna fish packed in oil to start a fire. So this is a little survival type hack, all right, or something you can use camping. Now it's very important that our tuna is packed in oil because the oil is going to act like our fuel, all right. So essentially the oil in this tuna is going to be our fuel source and we're going to use a little bit of um, toilet tissue. All right, you can use regular tissues, any type of paper product that is not treated. It's important that it does not have any kind of lotion or any chemicals on it, okay? Because when we're done with this, we want to actually eat our tuna. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to open our can up. Okay, you can see all that oil on top. Next thing we're going to do is take our tissue here. And I'm going to start with one square. We're going to put that square on top. And we're going to let that soak up all that oil. All right, so I have a little spoon here. And I'm just going to push down all the way around to ensure that's completely saturated with the oil because you don't want the tissue to burn. Okay. The next step here is to add another layer of paper. All right, now this tissue is acting like our wick, as if this was a candle. So when it's saturated in the oil, it's not going to burn, but it's going to continue to give us a flame. So again, just push that down, make sure it's completely saturated all the way around. All right, and then we're going to start our fire. Put our spoon off to the side here. And we're going to light all the way around until this starts to burn. Now I'm saving this third piece here to put in the middle in case that doesn't burn right off the bat. Make sure you lay it all the way around the circumference. Okay. Push this in the middle. Get a little bit of that oil. Spoon to hold that down, make sure the wind doesn't take it away. And now we have our fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a wood fire around this, starting with our kindling here. Put that, make sure that is in the center of our frame here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to build this up. Stacking different twigs all around it. And we're just creating our regular fire. Now the idea behind this is that once we have an established fire, if you're going to keep building on this, you can pull out your can of tuna and you'll be able to still eat it. So it's not just our, our source of fire to get this going, but it's also going to be our lunch. So we're just building up the fire as you normally would. And this can of tuna will burn for an extremely long period of time. But right now what's happening is that paper that we have in there is creating a barrier. So the tuna underneath is not being scorched. It's actually just being warmed up right now. So as we establish this fire, in a regular situation, I'm just using this as a demo, but normally you would just keep building, you know, bigger and bigger tinder up. And then once the fire is completely established, then you can pull the can out, remove that top layer, and then enjoy your nice warm tuna. So let this burn for a little bit.
So again, in a survival type situation or if you're camping, you would keep building to this, putting larger and larger uh, sticks on there and wood. Uh, and then eventually once it's a sustainable fire, you would pull that can out. In this case, I'm just doing a demo. So I'm gonna put this burning wood off to the side so we can check out our can. You can see the can is still burning just fine. I'm actually gonna blow it out so we can remove that little layer that's on top here. Okay, so on top, that was our paper. It was acting as our wick. I grab just the end of it and lift up. You can see that we have all of our tuna that we're able to eat now. So I'm just going to clean off my spoon here, a little bit of snow, make sure I don't have any ash in there, and then we're going to dig into our tuna. Now obviously be careful because the can itself could be hot. Actually you use one of these sticks to support it. There we go. And then we have our nice warm lunch. All right, so we're gonna give this tuna a little try here. Mmm. Very good and nice and warm. So hopefully you enjoyed this little camp trick or survival hack. And if you're new to Through Night's channel, they have free giveaways for products. If you want to enter, it's completely free. All you have to do is comment on these videos and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.